Canadian cow calf producers are making like their American counterparts and are forward selling their calves this fall, many using video sales. This is Rural Roots Canada and I'm Eric Smith getting to the stem and meat of agriculture. October and November are typically busy months in terms of cattle movement, but Gateway Livestock Marketing Market Analyst Ann Wasco believes this period of time this year will be much busier than years past. So far over the last, I'd say, two months, we've seen a lot of what we call forward selling. Cattle producers have been taking advantage of what's been uh, record high calf prices uh, into, the, into the fall delivery time and pre-selling their calves. Wasco says it's hard to know how much busier it will be this fall compared to previous years until it is over, especially since this is a new trend to Canada. It's certainly been more than we've ever seen before. Now this is a trend uh, that maybe is a little bit newer here to Canada. It's been something that U.S. cattle have done for a long time. They've always, always sold, or a, lot, a big percentage have sold on uh, what we call video sales through the summer to deliver those calves in the fall. Seed stock? Cattle manager Jared Sherman of Sauter Glen Ranches, west of Airdrie, Alberta, says video sales has been a growing trend over the past three to five years with auction marts now seeking out producers. Sauter Glen Ranches enters into forward selling contracts as a buyer. He says this change in trend comes as auction marks change the way they are marketing cattle. Sherman says this method of forward selling exploded this year. We've seen state, uh, tape sales that have 20 to 30,000 head on them, um, even before the fall runs. Fall runs used to start, you know, end of October, beginning of November. We saw a tape sale this year that sold 30,000 calves in September. Advancing Women Conference East has wrapped, leaving the women who attended inspired. Erin LaDuc, owner of Wanna Make It Farm in Moose Creek, Ontario, tells Rural Roots Canada the Advancing Women Conference East showed her there are a lot more women in the agriculture industry than she thought. LaDuc says the engaging and passionate speakers shared a lot of knowledge and experience with the women. To help support each other, um, that, you know, we seem to take on a lot more uh, than is what, what's perceived and we're trying to keep it all together and run multiple schedules and also do what we're passionate about and you know that we all manage to make it happen and it's not some perfect idealistic thing, it just kind of works as it does and you know just to continue and persevere through that. Leduc says she's been telling a lot of women and men about the topics the conference covered and how well it is put together. It kept you engaged and uh, involved the whole time. There was a few networking coffee breaks and then before dinner networking. So you got a good chance to do a little bit of socializing, meet new people, and you know stay engaged throughout the presentation because it was so um, so flowed so well and even into the next day starting bright and early and going till 4.35 o'clock, you know, they just, um, they tried to put as much as they could and it was very obvious and well done too. Leduc says she is looking at attending the Advancing Women Conference West in Calgary next March. For more on this conference, go to ruralrootscanada.com. For Rural Roots Canada, I'm Eric Smith getting to the stem and meat of agriculture. This has been a Rural Roots Canada production.